Okay, so I think now is the <clears throat> the best uh, time just to say uh, again, hello everyone, and thank you for the invitation for uh, to to give a talk. My name is uh, Tomasz Skalski, and uh, as it was said before, I'm a PhD student of Rostov University of Science and Technology and of uh, Université d'Angers. I hope the French uh, pronunciation is uh, uh, is now uh, correct. I'm I'm learning, so I'm not uh, sure 100 100 percent yet. And but uh, today's talk will be about maximum likelihood uh, estimators for discrete exponential families and random graphs. It's mostly based on a joint paper with uh, Professor Krzysztof Bogdan from Wrocław University of Science and, Techno and Technology and Michał Bosy, who is uh, working now in the University College of London. Okay, so uh, at first uh, let us start with uh, basic notation, which will be used uh, throughout the talk. So let uh, x uh, uh, let x be the finite uh, space of uh, k points. Sometimes it will be talk, uh, it will be told uh, as a state space. And uh, here the finiteness of x is very important. Uh, on the uh, x we consider a strictly uh, positive uh, weight function, which uh, assigns uh, a weight for each uh, point uh, in X. Mm. Uh, yes, and, uh, uh, and here we uh, also consider the uh, linear space of functions. This, uh, this, this space of functions is the subspace of the uh, space of all uh, real valued uh, functions on X. With, uh, uh, <clears throat> with uh, one issue which, uh, which we uh, desire. Uh, this one is uh, such that the function, the constant function uh, equal to one uh, belongs to our space. Uh, very often we consider the uh, subclass of this uh, linear space, the cone of uh, non-negative functions. So uh, this one uh, can be um, sometimes interpreted as uh, some subclass of uh, probabilities, of course, weighted probabilities. Uh, yes, here, we also have that partition function uh, z uh, being equal to the sum over uh, <clears throat> over uh, points in uh, our space x and uh, is the sum of uh, exponents of the uh, functions from uh, b the functions uh, phi weighted by the our weight uh, mu uh, therefore, we derive the exponential density of probabilities and we are able to obtain the exponential uh, family. Mm, as usual, the uh, maximum likelihood estimator uh, is uh, that exponential density which uh, maximizes the likelihood function. Mm, sometimes we uh, also use the log likelihood, uh, mostly to facilitate the computations. But in our research, in fact, we, we discuss whether the MLE actually does uh, exist. Mm, okay. So, in fact, uh, we weren't the first to uh, ask that question. Uh, there were uh, some people before us who did it uh, mm, as well, but in different contexts. 
So I think the, um, the history, uh, we think the history uh, starts with the um, book of Ole Barndorf Nielsen from 1978, uh, who gave a, crit a criterion of existence of MLE for the exponential families with help of uh, convex uh, geometry. Uh, some, something is uh, also uh, written in the article of uh, Shelby Haberman from 1974, but uh, uh, these criteria uh, were stated in uh, hierarchical log linear models. Uh, the start of uh, uh, attempting the existence of uh, MLE with uh, sets of uh, uniqueness, which uh, will be also our main tool. It, uh, it was started in the paper of uh, Krzysztof Bogdan and Małgorzata Bogdan from 2000. And uh, they, uh, they solved the criteria. They put the criterion of uh, existence of MLE Yes, uh, here should be of MLE for exponential families of continuous function on a finite, uh, on a finite uh, interval, but continuous interval. So also there were papers interpreting, uh, interpreting uh, the barndorf nielsen uh, criterion in terms of polyhedral uh, geometry. And in 2001, Alessandro Rinaldo, Stephen Finberg, and Yi Zhu uh, applied uh, it to exponential models of random graphs, abbreviated as ARGM. Uh, in this talk, uh, we state a criterion of existence of uh, MLE in discrete exponential families in terms of sets of uniqueness. And the maximization of uh, likelihood will be uh, is, funded, is uh, fundamental if in uh, many features of uh, statistics. Uh, it's worthy to mention estimation, ex estimation model selection, and uh, it's uh, quite often important to know if uh, MLE does actually exist for given uh, for given data. Okay, so I. Uh, I said uh, that we use uh, sets of uniqueness. So it, I think it will be worthy to say what uh, the sets of uniqueness are, especially in this context. Uh, we say that uh, the subset of X uh, is the set of uh, uniqueness for a given uh, class of functions. If uh, if the condition that uh, the function from this class uh, vanishes on the set uh, u implies that this function must be um, must be a constant function equal to zero on all x. So as a um, as an example, we can think about uh, x uh, being a set of five points as uh, seen below from minus two to two. And we will, uh, and we may think about the class of all real functions on X, which are uh, linear and technically affine, both on the non-negative uh, semi-axis and on the non-positive semi-axis. So here, we can, uh, we can consider the set uh, minus one, one, and two, just as an example. This set is a set of uh, uniqueness for B, Y. Well, the set uh, X is uh, quite small, so we can just uh, uh, count it. So, so we know that the function vanishes on one and two. Therefore, if the function is linear on zero, one, and two, then it also vanishes on zero. 
So if we know that the function vanishes on zero and minus one from the uh, from the similar condition on the non-positive uh, half axis, it must vanish on minus two also. So the function is equal to zero. So the set minus one, one and two is a set of uniqueness for the class B. But if we mm, remove uh, one point, for example, uh, one point equal to one from, mm, from our set, then the set consisting of uh, two points, minus one and two, is not a set of uniqueness. Why? Well, the counterexample is uh, seen on this slide. There is a linear function. This function is not equal to zero, as uh, we may see. But uh, this function vanishes both on minus one and on two. But uh, as I said before, we also may consider the cone of non-negative functions. Here, a little spoiler, this function is negative on minus two. So the subset of uh, X will be a, uh, is a set of uniqueness for B plus if the uh, function, if a function from the class B plus vanishes on uh, zero, implies that the that this function is constantly equal to zero. And again, we may think about uh, the similar example of uh, B, but B plus is the class of the non-negative functions from B. And we may think about the set minus one and two. If the non-negative affine function vanishes on minus one, that it also, then it also vanishes both on minus two and zero. And if it vanishes on zero and two, then it also vanishes on one. So the zero is the only, uh, is the only non-negative function which uh, vanishes on minus one and two and is from our class. The, the main reason why uh, we focus on the non-negative uh, functions and our main result uh, too is the following theorem which uh, connects uh, notion of sets of uniqueness and the notion of exist and the existence of maximum likelihood uh, estimator. So the maximum likelihood estimator from uh, for the exponential family um, corresponding to the class B and for points uh, for a sample x1 up to xn points uh, from x this uh, MLE exists if and only if the, um, the set of points uh, hit, our, uh, hit our by our sample is a set of uniqueness, but for B plus. Um, the proof is uh, quite uh, subtle, but it's also, um, it was uh, also, uh, enjoyable to um, to do it, so um, so I will try to uh, sketch uh, this proof uh, a, bit, a little bit. So on the uh, one side, so the existence of uh, MLE implies the uh, implies being a set of uniqueness uh, can be proof. Uh, in such way. So in the case we, where the set x1, x2 up to xn is uh, not of uh, uniqueness for 
uh, B plus, uh, we may um, consider a candidate uh, for MLE. Let's call it uh, phi, a phi. And we may observe that we can subtract from phi the a function psi, which is non-negative and vanishes on uh, our set, x1 up to xn. This is uh, not a set of uniqueness, so such uh, function psi exists. And uh, psi uh, minus phi uh, is uh, equal to psi on our set, but uh, uh, oh, sorry, uh, phi minus uh, psi uh, equals uh, phi uh, on our set x1 up to xn. Thus, the partition function uh, will be decreased, and thus the resulting uh, likelihood will be increased. Uh, on the other side, uh, the proof is. Uh, is uh, much uh, subtle. Here we introduce a special seminorm related uh, to a given set of uniqueness. Uh, set of uh, uniqueness on B, and uh, we compare it with an oscillation uh, seminorm. So, are are there some uh, are there any questions so far? Okay, I may have a question. Yes. So uh, the, by the maximum likelihood estimator over the space of function B, it is basically defining um, va values at this finite set of this function B, is it correct? So from the function from B. I mean, uh, so estimator of what? That's my question. <laughs> Or what is the parameter here, just to make it a bit more explicit? So we are maximizing function over the function in B, or, or I'm just a bit confused here. Yes, it's a, a very good question, mostly because uh, we uh, approach the case uh, so uh, so theoretically that uh, it uh, mm, it's uh, indeed uh, hard uh, uh, hard uh, to see that uh, at the first glance. Uh, in fact, uh, mm, if we uh, uh, switch to the notation, mm, there uh, we have. Uh, a linear space of uh, functions uh, uh, B. Mm -hmm. We have the uh, exponential uh, family of uh, distributions. And, uh, mm, and, uh, and we, uh, we want to uh, estimate the uh, function uh, Mm, to estimate uh, which uh, function uh, uh, phi uh, suits uh, yeah. the yeah. best to our uh, data. Yeah, that's what, what I wanted to know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Any further questions so far? Okay, so let's uh, go on. So what uh, can be said uh, about uh, the applications? Well, I think uh, many, fix, uh, many things, but we mostly focus on the uh, Rademacher functions and on uh, exponential random um, graph uh, models abbreviated as uh, ERGM. Uh, we're motivated with uh, our method. Uh, we propose uh, conditions for existence of MLE and uh, the probability bounds for uh, MLE existence for 
IID samples. So also for the IID random uh, variables, uh, x1, x2, and so on, valued uh, in our set x, it will be useful to uh, define the, um, the random time, the uniqueness time. So, uh, so this uh, will be the first uh, time when uh, when our uh, our our sample points obtain, uh, obtained obtained uh, so far uh, form a set of uniqueness for B plus uh, because uh, we can uh, observe that. Uh, if a set is uh, a set of uniqueness for a class of functions, then uh, then its uh, over set is also a set of uniqueness because it's just uh, a stronger uh, stronger restriction for um, for the class of functions which uh, which we want to have. Um, here also, uh, the notion of uh, threshold uh, functions can be useful. It was uh, borrowed from the random graph theory. And uh, in fact, uh, it's uh, as old as uh, random graph theory, or at least uh, we may, uh, we may uh, think it's uh, as old because uh, it appeared first on the uh, on the seminal paper of uh, Paul Erdes and Alfred Reni from 1959. And uh, also uh, some people, um, um, some people treat this, uh, uh, this article as the uh, start of uh, random graph uh, theory. So what is, um, we may uh, think about these uh, threshold functions as uh, as some kind of a phase transition. So, if we have uh, a function, let's call it uh, n star, is the uh, function of uh, of the sample size. So this function is a threshold of the uh, size of the sample for a given uh, property. This uh, property has to be monotone, so it will be uh, closed uh, under uh, taking over sets or, in, or being uh, closed under taking uh, subsets. So um, it's, uh, it is an asymptote. Mm, this is the uh, asymp uh, asymptotic uh, uh, <clears throat> okay. uh, again. Uh, this uh, threshold uh, function is uh, such function then uh, that uh, the functions asymp mm, the, the sample of the size asymptot asymptotically uh, smaller than uh, N star will uh, will result uh, will result in the uh, probability of a um, typical sample of uh, this size uh, having uh, and not having this uh, property. But if the sample size is asymptotically uh, bigger than in the threshold, then with high probability the property will be satisfied by the sample. Also, the uh, notion of uh, sharp threshold is, uh, mm, is used uh, here in instead of uh, uh, having, uh, mm, uh, having asymptotic, uh, asymptotically uh, larger uh, function. We, uh, we just uh, want it uh, want it to be larger than the threshold by one plus epsilon for every epsilon 
Sorry, could I have a question? Or can zero? Yes. Uh, I missed maybe something. What, what is the relation between n and the n star in these definitions? Okay. Uh, n uh, n is the uh, typical uh, is the uh, sample size. So, for example. Um, if we have uh, a, a space of uh, k states, then we want to have a sample of uh, k squared okay. ones. So n of k uh, here uh, equals k squared. Then if uh, k squared divided by the um, threshold function, uh, tends to uh, uh, tends to zero with uh, uh, with k um, tending to uh, infinity. Then, with uh, high probability, uh, the sample will not satisfy the property. But uh, so, so, uh, as, I, as I am correct, if, uh, n is uh, the, the sample size depends on the k, and k is the size of the graph. Uh, Yes, mostly k. Uh, uh, here we will uh, use uh, k as the uh, as the size of the uh, discrete uh, um, space. But uh, okay, yes, but originally, uh, originally, if uh, it was the number of uh, vertices. So to be precise, this uh, sample axis would be n up to n of, uh, as a function of k, this n is of the same n is in the uh, x definition and in the limit definition, yes? The n and the n of k is the same in these definitions. Uh, yes. The... Thanks, Victor. Yes, yeah, so uh, maybe some uh, examples of uh, monotone properties, so as uh, some monotone uh, properties, uh, maybe after this slide, uh, the discussion will be uh, clearer. Uh, so the monotone uh, properties for the uh, sample size can be, for example, covering the whole set. So we, we know that uh, the sample size, for example, of uh, people in the United States uh, can be um, um, is such that each people can be grouped into some finite number of uh, states, for example, 50 states plus some um, overseas uh, territories, discrete uh, Columbia and uh, so on. And the property would be, for example, that we have at least one people representing each state. Another uh, example of uh, a monotone uh, property will be such that we have uh, points, we have obtained points from at least uh, three uh, different uh, states. Also, we can have many other properties like the property that we have um, we have obtained uh, some subset of states uh, having some specific and uh, useful for us uh, structure. For example, if we have uh, uh, 100 states and we want uh, named from one to 100 and we want to have at least two points from states uh, adding up to 100 at, and one. Okay, so let's start with some, uh, uh, with a toy example. So as a warm up, warm up we start with a with the space of all real uh, real value real valued functions uh, naturally the mle for the 
uh, exponential uh, family corresponding to R2 uh, powered to X um, exists if, if and only if the whole set X is uh, covered. So our sample here hits at least uh, one, at least once each point from uh, X. And this problem is uh, solved uh, quite uh, well in terms of uh, prob prob probability bounds, because this is uh, exactly the uh, coupon collector problem. Uh, this problem uh, was uh, treated by uh, by some uh, quite famous uh, probability theorists, uh, for example, Erdos, uh, Erdos and uh, Rani, but in another art article, it, uh, it was also um, discussed by uh, Georgi Polia in uh, 1930. And uh, even the, um, the first uh, appearance of uh, of this problem is uh, set to uh, appear in in the book of uh, Laplace in 1812. Uh, so, what uh, what the coupon collector problem uh, is? This is uh, the problem which uh, appears uh, well practically it. Uh, appears, uh, for example, just before any major uh, sports event, when the young uh, football fans uh, who want to, oh, not also young, uh, who want to um, uh, leave the uh, sport emotions uh, before the uh, tournament, for example, before the World Cup, they Mm, have a possibility to buy in uh, in local shops the random packet of uh, footballers. Also, they can buy an album and they want to uh, collect uh, all of the stickers of footballers. But in fact, uh, at first they think that if the album has, for example, 700 stickers, that then it will suffice to buy 700 uh, stickers and the album will be completed. The answer with high probability is uh, no. They will uh, uh, need uh, much more stickers because uh, some of them will just uh, duplicate. If we... <clears throat> If we want to uh, see this problem more uh, practically, then I just uh, will maybe uh, switch for some uh, to some short experiment or to short uh, short output of the short uh, experiment. So. Assume that uh, here we have a small album of footballers. We don't have uh, too much time uh, for 700 footballers. So let there be five footballers like Messi, uh, Ibrahimovic from Sweden, uh, Mbappé from France, Lewandowski from Poland, and Rahim Sterling from the English national team. And Assume that I will now buy some random stickers. So now I have just a clear album, five stickers to collect, and I just have bought a first sticker. Is the sticker number five? So is the sticker of Sterling? Yeah. So I'm happy. I have the. I have my first sticker in, in my album, is the new sticker, no duplications. I hope that uh, I hope that I will be 
uh, so lucky all the time. Second sticker, well, another footballer, Ibrahimovic. Perfect. Now I have two stickers, free to go. Another one, and again, I am lucky. The uh, free stickers buy, uh, free stickers bought, free footballers co connected, only two to go. With first sticker I have also luck, and only one sticker to go. So I buy a fifth sticker, duplication, the sixth sticker, again Lewandowski, the seventh one, mm, now there is uh, uh, also a duplication, uh, one uh, more I see that now the waiting time is the uh, uh, geometric time with uh, success probability one to five. So I buy and buy and buy. And in fact, I collected the album of five footballers in 12 uh, stickers. So it's the, just an output of, the, of a little experiment. Let's switch back to the presentation. Uh, okay, so um, in fact, uh, the typical number of uh, the typical sample size will be um, approximately uh, equal to k log k, when uh, where the k is a number of uh, points in our state space. In fact, there can be a said some uh, something more. There is a co connection with Gumbel distribution. And in particular, um, this function is a sharp threshold of the sample size. So as uh, another uh, application, we, uh, we may consider the uh, Rademacher functions. So, uh, so yes, uh, we will consider the space X being a k-dimensional discrete hypercube, and we define the Rademacher functions uh, such that the uh, jth Rademacher function yields the jth coordinate of, uh, of the point um, um, of the point. Moreover, we denote, we denote the R0 as a constant one. Uh, we consider the linear space of Rademacher functions, which can be imagined as a space of linear combinations of uh, half cube uh, indicators. Uh, analogously, the products of uh, Q Rademacher functions would uh, correspond to uh, subcubes uh, having uh, fixed uh, size. But uh, let us uh, stay at the, the case of uh, single Rademacher functions because this one is uh, solved. Uh, so in our, uh, in our paper, uh, we state that the MLE exists uh, for the exponential families of uh, corresponding to Rademacher functions if and only if um, the sample, uh, the sample, the set uh, x1 uh, up to uh, xn, and the sample uh, hits every half cube of our of our high of our hypercube. So, for example, if we, if we are lucky enough, then the, the, two, the set of two points, for example, a set of one point with all coordinates negative and second point with all coordinates positive is 
the set of is the specific uh, set of uniqueness which yields the existence of MLE. And we have also obtained the uh, um, probability bound. In fact, uh, this probability bound uh, is also a sharp uh, threshold of the sample size and uh, the proof relies on the asymptotic of uh, maximum of k geometric uh, variables having probability success probability one half. <clears throat> so it can be treated like we have the first point x1 and uh, for another for the other points in our sample we just want to uh, observe uh, uh, which of the uh, which of the coordinates uh, are at least once uh, different than the um, corresponding coordinates in the first point x1. So another application uh, are the exponential random graph uh, models. And uh, here we consider simple undirected uh, graphs containing uh, uh, without uh, self loops uh, and without uh, multiple edges. So just simple and <coughs> undirected graphs. Let uh, big N denote the number of vertices in such a graph and uh, let small m uh, be the number of uh, its edges. As uh, Gn, we will uh, denote the family of uh, all the graphs with uh, of n vertices. And uh, the operations like uh, sum of the graph, sum of graphs, intersection of graphs, and uh, the inclusion will be uh, treated in terms of uh, edges. Mm, here we also define the uh, characteristic function. Uh, he uh, mm, corresponding to uh, each uh, edge of the graph, which uh, is equal to one when the edge uh, is not, uh, when the specific edge Rs is not uh, uh, present in the graph. But if it's present, we, uh, we fixed uh, this characteristic uh, function uh, in, with the value minus one. And we also consider a linear space uh, spanned by these uh, characteristic functions and the constant function equal to one. Mm, there we also uh, consider uh, uh, the vector of uh, coefficients, uh, each, where each coefficient uh, mm, is the function uh, is the deterministic function of the uh, probability of uh, the edge appearance. So therefore we have, uh, we are also able to build the exponential family. And uh, here each edge, uh, I forgot to state it before, each edge appears independent, independently of others. So what had, uh, what have we, what have we done? Uh, we stated that uh, if we have a sample, now is the sample of graphs of graphs with n vertices there, the MLE exists if and only if in our sample of graphs, each edge is at least one is at least once present and each edge is at least once absent in our sample of graphs. So for example, if in our sample of 25 graphs, 
the edge uh, connecting vertex one with vertex three will appear appears everywhere, then the MLE does not exist, does not uh, exist. And we have also obtained the threshold, not the sharp threshold, the threshold of the sample size for the existence of MLE in this setting. And here, this is the logarithm of n. So now there is a time for short uh, uh, discussion about uh, uh, about uh, different about another applications. So the products of uh, Rademacher functions are uh, quite uh, harder than the case of uh, single Rademachers, uh, mostly because uh, uh, there there is uh, a lack of uh, there's a lack of uh, mutual uh, independence uh, between the functions um, we can also think about the hypercube intuition but but i understand uh, this intuition can be a, uh, a little bit difficult because the hypercubes uh, itself uh, have more dim more dimensions than uh, three, so they are they are hard to, uh, hard to imagine uh, visually. But mm, this application is uh, quite important. For example, the products of the two Rademacher functions are connected are connected with uh, the Ising model. In fact, uh, we did the uh, opposite case. So the products of uh, k minus one Rademacher functions mm, in the uh, in the hypercube setting, uh, they will refer to indicators of uh, edges of our hypercube. So uh, so in these uh, two points, which differ by exactly one coordinate. So if it's uh, a cube uh, Q3, this one is just the three dimensional cube, then the edges are just the edges and the half cubes were the faces of the uh, three-dimensional uh, cube. Mm, so here, uh, here we observe uh, we observe that uh, all of these points can be uh, partitioned into uh, two sets, two sets of equal size. Mm -hmm. uh, one set of all points with uh, an even number of uh, positive coordinates, and the second set, the odd set the set of all points with uh, odd number of positive coordinates. So the corresponding MLE uh, exists if uh, and only if the sample covers, fully covers, at least one of these two sets. So if we cover all of the points with uh, even number of posi positive coordinates, then we know that MLE exists. If we cover all, all the points. Then we also have the um, the existence of an LE. But if uh, we have one, uh, at least one even point and at least one odd point which uh, weren't hit so far, then the MLE does not exist. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, for a finish, uh, there are uh, some of the most uh, important uh, references, like the book of Ole Bardorf Nielsen, like uh, paper of uh, Krzysztof Bogdan and Małgorzata Bogdan, like our paper with the link to the archive, by two, par two papers of Erdos, Erdos and Reni. The first one 
was about the uh, was about the uh, threshold functions, and the second is about the uh, coupon collector problem. There is also the article of Erickson, Finberg, Rinaldo, and Sullivan uh, concerning uh, hierarchical log linear models. Also, an article of Shelby Haberman, the article of uh, Rinaldo, fin Finberg, and Joe concerning uh, ERGM, and, and the historical book of Pierre Simon Laplace. Uh, if uh, one wants to uh, read more or to read uh, more references, then uh, everyone is uh, cordially invited uh, to, to read our article on archive. So, um, so thanks uh, a lot for, uh, for coming. Uh, dziękuję bardzo uh, za, przy, uh, za przybycie. Uh, merci beaucoup uh, pour l'attendance. Uh, tak for at ni komidak.